uh, God confirming our testimony about Christ among you. Therefore, verse 7. This is a fact. This is a observation of Paul about the Corinthian church. This is uh, perhaps one of these most underrated verses here. It says, therefore, you do not what? Lack any spiritual gift. If you have a pencil or something and you want to keep the same book, This is some things I want to talk to you here about this crazy church. Okay? The further we get into Corinthians, um, there's, there's, a, a, there's a, a family that is having incest in the church. Uh, if Sosthenes here is a Sosthenes from back in Acts chapter 18... This guy got beat up. This guy got flogged for taking Paul to court. Um, they have all kinds of disagreements. They are doing their communion time. Their communion time is an abomination because the more money you have, the better off you are at communion. This is one crazy, screwed up, messed up church. As a pastor, I cannot imagine the screwed upness of this church. <gasps> Thank you, Paul, for writing Corinthians. Maybe the rest of our churches here for the next 2,000 years won't have to be this nuts. <sighs> Whenever you're dealing with a nut stress thing that's going on in church, guess what? We're not as screwed up as the Corinthians. Okay, We're not as screwed up as they are. Our problems are pretty small pretty light and pretty momentary. But I want you to see what Paul says about this screwed up, messed up church. They do not lack any spiritual gift. Their status as a screwed up church <laughs> does not change the fact that their state is that God has given them every spiritual gift. Even to the extent that the spiritual gifts, as we see here in, in throughout the rest of Corinthians, wow, this is... What? They get to the point when it comes to speaking in tongues. Oh, well, I'm speaking tongues, so look at me. I ought to be up front. What? <laughs> you know, like crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. And as screwed up as this church is, this little verse here says they don't lack any spiritual gift. They've got it all. It's okay. They've got it all. Uh... Watch what else they're doing here in verse 7. Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gift as you what? Eagerly wait. Eagerly wait. Steve and Hope are taking a crew three or four weeks from now, right? Down to Winter Jam. Natalie woke up this morning and she said, Dad, Savannah went to Winter Jam last one of her friends from Texas. She's already sent me pictures and I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Eagerly wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> now here's the thing. They are waiting. Watch this. For what? For our, for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. Do they not know who Jesus is? How could they have the gifts that they do? They have gifts, right? Yeah. Spiritual, Spiritual gifts. gifts, right? Waiting for 
Jesus Christ to be revealed, not returned, to be revealed. This is, I'm, I'm glad, Kathy, I love your expression on your face, dear. Because this is, this is, no, it's, this is what I come, it's like, what the heck? What are you, what? Do they not have a cross up front? <laughs> this with a backlight behind it that looks really cool? <laughs> you know? What in the world are they waiting for? What in the world are they waiting for? Um, let, let's, let's pretend just a little bit. It is possible, it's possible that all they have right now, as Paul is writing this, is oral stories from Jerusalem from first-hand witnesses, okay? It's possible that maybe one of the Gospels has already been written, okay? But they don't have a Bible to take to church. Uh, you know, the whole Joel Osteen thing where you, you hold up your Bible and say the little thing. When he, Have you ever watched Joel Osteen late, late night or something? He has this little thing where he holds up, this is my Bible that says that I am what it says I am. I don't know. I, yeah. And this can't be reproduced without express written consent from the National Football League. Whatever else that he says in there. I don't know. It's just laugh with me, sweetheart. It's kind of cool what he does. It? It, is, it is kind of cool what he does. A um, little weird, a little cool. It's like I should totally steal that. No, I'd be totally stealing that. <laughs> but, but, but we, you know, we forget that the church here in Paul's time, basically all they have is the Old Testament, and a copy of the Old Testament for them costs about fifty thousand dollars our money. Imagine our church having to save up fifty thousand dollars to buy a copy of the Old Testament. It's a good thing we got cell phones with it on there for free. <laughs> uh, but that's how much that's how much these things would cost uh, for these little churches. And so um, this whole thing Paul is doing on word of mouth and and you know just testimony. Basically, all Paul has is that, man, I was on the way to arrest some guys, and Jesus showed up and changed my life. And all he's got is his study of the Old Testament, saying this is who Jesus is, all throughout the Old Testament. And that's how the, these, this church was founded on. So the idea of, of Jesus being revealed is, I wonder, my gut leans that, you know, the Gospels are coming. The scripture is coming. This stuff to be written down and recorded is coming, but we don't have it yet. Or it's in the work. Or hey, I got a letter from Peter who's working with Mark, who I know, who's getting ready to uh, you know, publish their first book and go on tour mm -hmm. and show up on the Today Show. I'm... I could see the one who would be early away. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Words. Yeah. And so that's my that's my gut where this leans, but there's also maybe some supernatural stuff floating around. Could God, did God, would God reveal to them supernaturally the truth through the Old Testament to see Jesus? Would he or could he? Yes. Yes. So I think that there's also a supernatural, supernatural side to this verse, okay? Um, because they're waiting the confirmations of it. They are, I mean, they're, they're looking for this. They are waiting for Jesus to be revealed. Something for us, a little bit harder for us to grasp that concept because we have the Bible. You know, we have these records. We have this testimony. 